Giuseppe from Italy e tutto il resto è incivile. Quick announcement, my brother and I will be in Chicago this Monday and we want to do a meetup and potentially some kind of giveaway at that meetup. So comment meet up below if you're in the Chicago area and if you would want to go to the meetup. We're probably going to do it sometime Monday around 5 p.m. somewhere in downtown Chicago. We're still ironing out the details, but we want to know how many people are going to show up and how many people want to come because it, you know, it matters what location we get, you know, what we give away and all that stuff. So if you are interested in a meetup this Monday in Chicago, leave a comment below, meet up and we will hope to see you there and we will keep you posted with all the details on YouTube and on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff so everybody knows exactly what time and exactly where it's at. Back to your regularly scheduled program. So we are headed to the mall right now to pick up the KD9 Elite, something that I'm very excited about. Buckets is very excited about. As you can see, he looks thrilled. And I also want to check on the red iPhone. I know, super hype beast move. I just bought the 7 Plus a few months ago, four months ago, I think, to be exact. And now I want the red 7 Plus. So, hype beast move for sure. Your thoughts? I'm not a fan. Buckets is not a fan. Buckets is the anti-hype beast. Anyways, we're going to the mall and we're gonna bring you along because that's what we like to do here. So, like hope. Like a glove. What do you have to say to the people? Hopefully they didn't sell our size. Okay, so no go on the red iPhone. Actually in hand, I didn't like it nearly as much. With the white front, I don't know, kind of looked a little bit funny. Thoughts? Didn't like it, they should have made a, a black front. Yeah, we're off to the Batcave. Just made a quick pit stop and picked up the most recent uncivilized hoodie and this thing is absolute fire. 38 fire emojis without question. So dope, it deserves a montage. Hit it! All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow and that is it. Okay. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we will leave you with a... I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Right. Fucking thing sucks! Ian. And I'm so tired, I need a coffee. Hit it! Take care, thank you. Whenever you drink a latte like this, it feels kind of like you're destroying artwork, but I'll do that in the name of caffeine. Mutabella. Back in the laboratory. 
back in the lab and like I mentioned, super, super excited about the KD9. Before any of that though, the black uncivilized hoodie is here. So many people were asking, when is the black hoodie dropping? When is the black hoodie dropping? Next Friday, which is March 31st, 2017 for $55 on MrFormerSimpson.com at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. It is the most limited of the hoodies. Hoodie season is winding down, so this hoodie is a little bit different than the Navy Uncivilized and the Gray Uncivilized. It is the nine ounce champion hoodie as opposed to the 9.7 ounce. So, you know, we wanted to go with a little bit of a lighter hoodie, something that a lot of people can still wear during the spring. So, very limited quantities. Be quick and I hope everyone can get one. Anything else? That's it, let's show them the shoes. You know how I feel about the KD9. I have one of my most worn sneakers is the KD9. Absolutely have run those into the ground. And bam, the Nike KD9 Elite. These are available right now for 150 bucks, so I'll put a link in the description for anyone who's interested in grabbing a pair. This is from the Time to Shine pack that just released today, and I love this colorway. Aesthetically, I love these, but I don't really wanna talk about that part of things. I wanna talk about performance-wise, because after all, this is a performance sneaker. It's how I'm gonna be using it. This is by far the best performance KD um, ever created, and I expect these to be even a little bit better. The, the KD is, in my opinion, the best Nike basketball sneaker on the market right now. But I say is, maybe was is a better word because I think that these might take the throne. Essentially the same sneaker, they've only tweaked and adjusted a few things. By the way, you can see a full performance review of these. We did a very thorough performance review on this sneaker. So I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. So I don't wanna necessarily go over everything that we already talked about on this shoe. And again, you know the performance videos here are never overly technical. I'm a basketball player, my brother's a basketball player, and we just wanna to talk to other basketball players from that perspective or from that point of view. So here's what they did. They took the fly knit upper and they improved it, or at least they're saying that they improved it. Um, I'm hoping that, that they did, and, and I think that they did. It's a little more breathable. It's actually much more breathable than the KD9 because it doesn't have that thick layer underneath like the KD9 did. I should have said this in the very beginning, but these do fit true to size and are very, very comfortable. You have the full length Zoom Air, obviously, and me personally, I'm super, super big on cushioning. The impact protection is the number one thing that I look for in a sneaker, so I absolutely Love, love, love this cushioning setup. And just like on the KD9, we have it back here on the Elite. It's the same traction pattern as the regular KD9, so I expect that to be good. It was good on the KD9, it should be good on these. The only real differences is kind of the new and improved fly knit upper, the higher cut, and kind of this almost adaptive sleeve which I really, really like. Number one, I think it's gonna be easier to get on because the KD9 was really difficult to get on. I don't know if you remember that. And then once your foot was in, it didn't lock in great. The lockdown was my biggest complaint on the KD9. Really my only complaint was the lockdown wasn't phenomenal. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think that it's gonna be a lot better with this, partly because of this sleeve thing, but also this cable suspension bridge type lacing set up. Uh, I've not hooped in a sneaker with laces like yeah, this before. Yeah, sure. I think it's going to be awesome, man. Like, as you can see, the laces are pretty much fly wire, but with laces. I think that that in combination with the fly knit is going to make it one of one, a lot more of a custom fit. And obviously there's nothing better you could ask for when it comes to fit than something that feels like it was made just for your foot. And I'm just really, really excited about them. If you can't tell. You can tell. I can tell. You know how I feel. Yeah. So I think that's it. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. And don't forget to subscribe. We do a brand new video 
every single weekday, Monday through Friday, without fail. And sometimes we even do a bonus video on the weekend, like this weekend, there will be another video. So subscribe, tune in, we appreciate you. Buckets, foamy, we're out of here. What the hell is that? Did you ever watch Dexter's Laboratory? No. It's like one of my favorite cartoons. That's like one of the things that he used to say. Wait, wait, wait. He'd be like, stay out of my laboratory. Did you idiot? Oh, wow. So this is the laboratory. Yeah.